Hey footwear friends, it's your midsole man Ed Bud here. Are you after some lovely smelling new running shoes for your training or racing? But have you had to fork out for a new fridge freezer or for some world book day costumes for the kids? Look no further than my latest salvo of the running shoe bargains for March 2024. Hopefully I can save you a buck or two. What you buying? Only me, back with a super fast 72 mile an hour Marcus Rashford strike straight into the top corner. I've been scouring the net for the best shoe bargains for you as of around about March the 4th, 2024. Get them while they're hot. Hopefully these videos do help you out. If they are, please help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button, but also giving us a thumbs up like. Share the video too with your running buddies, or perhaps drop us a super thanks if you want to help out on a more ad hoc basis. Danke Starting off with an Under Armour bargain here, the Flow Velocity Elite. That's down from 225 to 135. We're talking Earth Credits, people, and we're talking sportsshoes.com. A mega deal for a very light and stable racer and training shoe, too. Now, I say a training option as well, because I think that's kind of where this one might fit in for most people. Just a little bit more durable in terms of those two midsole layers. One is a PBAX formula, the other is Under Armour's Flow stuff, which is a little bit more durable. It feels a bit like React to me, actually. I would half size up on this one, though, if you are going to go for it and 11 and a half for me normally i'm a 11 uk just felt a little bit more roomy and comfortable of an option it's certainly quick though one of those after a little more stability within their footwear may opt for this perhaps it's not a super soft squash a little bit more resilience and response there think along the lines of the asics options which are that bit more dense and firm like the meta racer or perhaps something from the adi zero series from adidas loads of sizes available and different colorways of this one at sportshoes.com start fitness only have patchy sizing left on the takumi sen 8 from adidas that is a super light speed glove of a shoe does that make it a sock? I don't know. It has Light Strike Pro Foam, which is a more responsive formula. It takes a little while to break in, but it does provide some superb propulsion and cushion underfoot. Certainly if you're looking to do some five or 10K racing. Want something for the track? The Sen is where it's at. At 85 Earth credits or 85 pounds here in the UK, in a variety of colorways, it's an easy one to recommend to the narrow-footed runners out there. Perhaps looking for something quick and nimble for their training. Maybe if you're doing a 10k or even a half marathon, you can probably get away with this one too. A superb outsole and one that keeps on giving as well, even two years after release. Sporadic sizing on the Sen 8, so don't hang about too long or they'll be gone. Next one is down from £250 to £160. So a 90 quid saving off the retail start fitness for the Adidas Primex Strung. It might be a good time to stock up on some additional pairs if this was a shoe that really worked for you. I found it was incredible for those long runs or even recovery efforts. It simply makes the art of running a sheer joy. One of those shoes that leaves a smile on the face and at a more reasonable price this time around, I certainly think that this one can come in handy within the rotation, perhaps for those longer sessions for me and my current training. It's quick too when you lift up the effort level somewhat. If you don't need too much stability back there, you know, it's certainly soft in the heel. I think people will find it good for those straighter courses or perhaps the routes that don't have too many turns. It's also as durable as an old Ford Cortina with the one speed wiper and the bible in the glove box now after a particularly hard effort over the 10k distance yesterday i've opted for the underfoot cushion of the nimbus 25 something resilient but also very compressive too almost pillow like i suppose the a6 gel nimbus 25 and 26 are ideal for that type of stuff when the feet really need something nice and cradling such as after a race the ASICS outlet has these as low as £108 here in the UK. Low prices do differ a bit depending upon the colorway and the sizing. 
This Paris inspired version will be superb as a recovery or daily running shoe. If you need some denser cushion underfoot, perhaps some of those new fangled foams are just a little bit too cushioned and squashy. Asics don't classify this one as one of the most comfortable running shoes within their lineup for nothing. Lots of sizes left on this one right now. At the time of making this video, I'll place a link in the description that takes you directly to this one. Next up, the Triple Black Ultra Boost Light from Adidas. That's now discounted to 93 Earth credits, down from a retail of 170. So that's a huge £76.50 off the retail. It's not a shoe I've personally tested, though I'm keen to see just how much lighter the new version of the Boost material is. Everybody that's bought a pair that I know really likes these, not just from a running perspective, but also from a more so lifestyle casual perspective too. It seems to be more along the lines of a Saucony type Power Run Plus material now, though in fairness, for denser cushion, the original boost material was really something. That put Adidas back on the map for running. I can remember actually running around like a half marathon in training, wearing the Ultra Boost. I think it was the 22, even the 21 as well. And I had no issues at all. I think Light Boost perhaps has arrived a little bit late, maybe a year or two late, but there's still time for it to make an impact. Ultra Boost Light should work out for runners after a shoe for everyday activities, as well as some lighter training. And in fairness, I ran some longer efforts in the older version. And with a load of weight knocked off in this version, I can't see why it won't work for that either. Start Fitness have a whole size run of the Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pro. I think it's probably the most misunderstood running shoe out there. I absolutely love it. The colorway, the profile and the grip. It's all good and at £150 with a 50 quid discount off the retail there, it's hard not to like this one. I think if you're a fan of the Primex Strung from Adidas, then definitely give the Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pro a try. If you like things a little different in terms of your cushion and max stack, then give this one a go. It takes time to get used to perhaps the dimensions and the angle of attack of the midsole, but once you master it, you get that lovely smile across your face on every run that you use it. Lacing's nice and simple, the colorway's bright and out of this world in hand. It actually looks a lot better when you get it in hand. The pictures don't do it justice. And at this price, I urge you to try it out. It's one of those big boons with a new version of a shoe coming out that all the previous versions get discounted. And that has happened with the Wave Rebellion Pro from Mizuno. Start Fitness again with the Triumph 21 now, 99 quid for a superb max cushion model with that fab Power Run Plus midsole. Easily usable for daily runs this one and some longer efforts on the Sunday too. Have to do them on the Sunday because it's the law. Perhaps a little bit too much shoe for racing, but no doubt worth picking up for the shoe rotation if you're perhaps an Endorphin Speed or Pro user who needs something a little bit extra underfoot in terms of cushion for your daily activities. Only the green, white and black launch colorway is currently sub £100, so that's 42% off the retail price on the Triumph 21 over at Start Fitness. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, last up again at Start Fitness, we have the Puma Deviate Nitro 2 in the purple and sapphire color in almost all men's sizes for just under 100. This makes for a really nice nimble plated shoe, nice weight to this one, excellent for some distance sessions with stability and cushion, but with awesome grip underfoot as well. An ideal workhorse type shoe for the English runners who need something with durability and longevity, capable of faster efforts in perhaps a more taxing weather conditions. At this price it's a bit lower than the Endorphin Speed 3 which is discounted right now but I feel you get a lovely balance of foams underfoot in the Deviate Nitro 2. That shoe does feature a forked plate as you can see it forks in the forefoot area and the amount of the Nitro Elite foam that you get is actually quite considerable when you look at the other section which is just Nitro. At this price it's a bit of a no-brainer definitely worth adding to the rotation with the Deviate Nitro 2. Links are in the description for as many of these as I can muster. I don't have any affiliation with any of the sites today. I don't make any cash out of these links, just to make you aware. If I've missed any super deals, let me know on the email in the description of this video or down in the comments. A very quick musical interlude for you. I've been listening to Nick Drake once again. Something's drawn me back to all his material and I've been listening to him practically every day. An album released about 20 years ago, Made to Love Magic, features loads of alternative versions of some of Nick Drake's songs, 
and even a song that was never actually properly recorded. I think there was a acoustic take of a track called Made to Love Magic, and then they found some music that had been written to go underneath the track, the orchestral sort of arrangement, and they managed to marry the two together. I mean, technology 20 years ago wasn't as good as it is now, but I think they've managed to do a great job considering what they had available then. It's so cool to hear Nick Drake singing this brand new song that we hadn't heard before, and it is one of his best, if you ask me. He's kind of talking about how he's retained this almost childlike naivety about his view of the world, and everybody else kind of loses that as they get older, how he was made to love magic and all its wonder. It's a really fantastic song. The beautiful arrangement really backs Nick's voice perfectly in terms of tone and it's a great place to start perhaps if you've never heard any of Nick Drake's music up to this point. Go check it people, Made to Love Magic by Nick Drake. Thanks for tuning in, it's always appreciated. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up like, it really does help out. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you.